Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at optionalpha.com and in this video we're going to talk about some option strategies that we don't adjust and why. So before we get into our big picture adjustment strategy and some specific techniques on adjusting different types of trades, etc., it's really important that we talk about strategies we typically don't adjust and why. And mainly it comes down to a couple net buying strategies. In particular, the ones that we usually don't adjust or really will never adjust are debit spreads and ratio spreads or back spreads, however you want to call them. So the reason that we don't adjust these two strategies, on the left hand side you've got your debit spread, your typical call debit spread or put debit spread, and on the right hand side we've got our ratio spread. So you can build this with calls or with puts. But the reason that we don't adjust these two strategies comes down to a couple things. One, both of these are net buying strategies. So we don't even typically enter these strategies a lot. And when we do, we usually have a low probability of success getting into them, which is why we mainly use them for the purposes of hedging other positions and or our portfolio. So in the case of a debit spread, which is the one on the left hand side of your screen here, debit spreads are usually entered uh, right around where the market is trading. So you buy one option in the money, sell one option out of the money. Your break even point is right about where the market is, meaning that you have about a 50-50 shot of making money on this. So long term, without making any adjustments to this trade, we should expect that we should win half the time, lose half the time, and really not net any considerable gain. That's why we don't use debit spreads as a course of regular business to generate income for our portfolio. We don't use those buying strategies. So in the same sense, it's really hard to adjust those positions because they're really pretty fair to begin with and you're going to use them more often to adjust or hedge a position that you have currently in your portfolio. So we might enter a call debit spread if we have too many bearish positions in our portfolio and try to kind of rebalance ourselves out. And if we lose on that trade or if we win on that trade, it's not really going to create a huge difference in our income long term. So generally speaking, debit spreads for us, again, are mainly used as the purposes of hedging other positions, not really an income generating source. They are not the main way that we generate money trading. Same thing with ratio spreads. Ratio spreads, if you think about it, you're buying two times as many or a factor of two times as many uh, options than you're selling. So you're really getting long options, which means that implied volatility should be insanely low for you even to consider a strategy like that. And in the case that you actually enter a ratio spread, there are very few things that you can do to adjust that trade. Again, I'm not saying that you can't adjust these. I'm saying that we don't typically adjust them because one, we don't enter them all too often. And two, when we do enter them, we're usually doing so to adjust or hedge other positions, meaning we don't need to adjust that individual strategy uh, itself. Now, ratio spreads, like I said, are really, really long options. So you're either gonna be really bullish or really bearish in your overall assumption. And again, you're not gonna wanna typically adjust that type of trade because you should be making it when the market is at some real high extreme or some real low extreme. At the end of the day, we kind of think that, you know, adjusting these two strategies is like picking up pennies in front of a steamroller. And it really comes down to the fact that you're going to waste a lot of your time trying to fiddle around with these strategies that as their basic core root do not work out as a means to generate income. So by adjusting something that really shouldn't be a big part of your portfolio anyway, or the core part of your portfolio and how you generate income with options, it's basically going to be you know a lot of work for not a lot of payoff at the end of the day. Again, to recap, these are trades for us that first, we don't enter often because of edge. So like I said, we're not going to be net buyers of options more often than we're net sellers. We will always be, by the vast majority of time, net option sellers than net option buyers. So whenever we do get into these, we can obviously use these as a means for adjusting or hedging other trades in our portfolio, not as the core basis for our trading. And second, we can easily control these positions on the entry by position sizing, meaning keeping our position size really, really small. So if we ever do a net buying strategy, it will never be at the higher end of our allocation scale, which is one to 5%. It will always be on the very, very low end, 1% or less for net buying strategies. Again, because we don't have the edge. We don't have the statistical edge in our favor as a net option buyer. So we can't do those trades really large to begin with. Therefore, they shouldn't take up a lot of our time as we're trying to make adjustments. 
So for the purposes of the rest of track three, we'll assume that whenever we talk about adjustment strategies and or techniques, that we're not including debit spreads and ratio spreads in that conversation. Again, this is not to say that you can't make adjustments to these. There are techniques by which you can make adjustments to debit spreads and ratio spreads that are out there. We just assume that most of the time, 95% of the time that you're trading, you're gonna be net sellers of options and those are the positions you wanna focus on. They're gonna be a bigger portion of your portfolio. They're gonna be the core strategies that generate income. Ratio spreads and debit spreads are gonna be very, very small part of your portfolio, if at all, part of your portfolio. Therefore, to more easily focus on the other things and use your time wisely, be as efficient as possible, we just don't adjust them all too often. So thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully it was really helpful. If you have any comments or feedback, please let me know. Ask them in the comment box right below. If you love this video, thought it was helpful, please share it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha.